Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your September 16th through the 30th love and general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to pull a few of these cards here just to see what the overall energy is going to be like for the last two weeks of September. Um, if you guys would like to order a personal reading with me, all that info will be down below. You guys can go ahead and shop all that stuff here, but let's get started. Actually, let me pull one more. All right, let's see what you got, Pisces. So we have reminder. It's okay to have bad days, but keep in mind that they will pass. So don't let them bring you down. Okay, so Capricorn had this card. You guys could be a Capricorn or you're dealing with one or you have this in your chart. We have direction is more important than speed. And we have take what you need. And, you know, this is a nap, smiles, peace, kisses, but she's grabbing the, the tab that says cash. Okay, so... Let me focus this here. So Pisces, um, there's going to be some things either that come up, bubble up from the past, or that's going to be happening towards the end of September for you guys. But I love how this card right here says, keep in mind that these things will pass, okay? So cry if you need to, feel the things if you need to, but what's really important is to remember that it will not last forever okay i do see a bit of difficulties once again if this is just some past stuff coming up or not um direction is more important than speed i want to say this is in regards to um work this could be in regards to relationships as well maybe you guys just want to go or you want your partner to do something or you want projects or work to plan out the way that you want it to you want to raise but I feel like strategy needs to happen here um, different perspectives different ways you can go about things um, and you may need some more information and help as well so let's see direction is more important than speed yes it's okay to slow down towards the end of September is what I want to say Pisces slow down and really just reevaluate some things that want to come up reevaluate your goals um what you're trying to head towards okay and take what you need so yeah at this point at the end of september i feel like just taking what you need is um gonna be very beneficial so one thing at a time one step at a time a lot of you guys are just focused on your money you're focused on your cash right now your job your projects, your goals. Okay, so let's pull a couple more cards here. Okay, so we have, you are gonna piss a lot of people off when you start doing what's best for you. Okay, so um, Pisces, yeah, now's a good time to do stuff for you. And I feel like there could be people around you who um, could be quite jealous or pissed off with you finally doing what you need to do. Um, I did hear that Pisces does, you know, the 12th house does rule hidden enemies. So there could be people around you who are just, once again, jealous. Um, maybe you guys are um, focused on whatever it is. And let's see, we have this desk picture here. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that you guys could be very busy or this is just a time now to really clean up the clutter, to get organized and to set the mood for yourself now, okay? I wanna say, open up the journal, open up the pen, write those appointments down, write your goals, what you wanna do, and I'm just getting like clean and organized here, okay? And to really set your intentions at this time, and be surrounded by plants is what I wanna say. But I feel like you guys could be starting a new job or there's just something new that you are preparing that you are doing at this time. Um, to where you are really only taking what you need right now 
you are very focused on um, your plans, your goals, and how you're going to get them. But I do get a sense that there are some people or things that may try to slow you down or try to make you feel bad or maybe there was something that you did, okay? But um, bounce back energy is strong here. So Pisces, let's go ahead and um, try a different spread I have for you guys. All right, Pisces, so let's just hop right into it here. I have 20 different words like take a chance, new strategy, sword, manifest, bounce back, self-care. And I have like these little crystals here, so we're going to see what falls on them. So we already have one. We have it on take a break and manifest. So yeah, this does tie in um, to what the first spread was saying a little bit. So take a break from things, and when I was writing this down, this to me talks about literally just not slowing down, but literally just taking a break. Take a break to where a day you're just doing nothing and you're chill, okay? So some of you guys really do need to take a break for yourselves or from a person here, but we do have it on manifest too, so anything that you're trying to manifest, anything that you're trying to get into motion, I feel like taking a break is definitely going to be beneficial and it's going to bring up new ideas for you guys. We have bounce back. Yeah, what was I saying? There's bounce back energy here, whether from yourself, things that you've done in the past or just people around you. We have health dreams. So a lot of you guys could be taking care of your health more at this time or this is the energy you need to be in. Yeah, health is coming up very strongly and we actually have the nickel come down or land on health. So I'm getting um, your inner world needs to be taken care of at this time and I'm also getting your views on money. So inner wealth, actual wealth, actual money, which is coming through here. And we also have it on dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. Um, some of you guys are chasing your dreams at this time. We have bounce back and health, okay? So accepting situations for how they are is really going to help you at this time. It's going to help your emotional health, your mental health as well. Take a break and candles. Yes, what I'm getting from this pairing is to set the mood for yourself. I feel like you guys really do need a break from things, maybe just by yourself or with your partner. Light some candles, get the mood going, get that aromatherapy going here is what I want to say. Some of you guys do work very well or do work with candles in some sort of way. Okay. So Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your six card spread. All right, Pisces, let's hop right in. Let's see what cards want to come out for you guys. My Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what wants to come out, what's coming towards you. The last half of September, Pisces that are going to be watching this. So we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. The Queen of Swords. The King of Cups, there you are. The Eight of Wands. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Queen of Cups here. So here you guys are, male or females. This could, I'm also seeing a couple here, but you guys aren't really looking at each other. Okay. And for some of you, you are with this person. But Pisces, I definitely see you guys coming more into your authentic selves at this time, okay? 
I see you really getting clear on things that you want, getting clear about the people around you, and just really cutting out what's unnecessary, okay? With the Queen of Swords, you guys may have gone through some pretty harsh stuff. And I'm seeing you grow at this time. I'm seeing you guys mature at this time. Some of you guys could be getting a divorce. Some of you guys could be getting out of a marriage. Um, out of a situationship for some of you guys, okay? But with the Queen of Cups showing up at the bottom of the deck, that could be another person in your life or that could be you to where you're letting your intuition guide you and your emotions are just going to be in a much more calmer state. Okay, but I do see you guys very sensitive and your intuition most definitely being on point. Eight of Wands, I'm getting a lot of communication. So maybe with friends, maybe with work, projects, I'm getting networking, I'm getting people saying, you know, like, what's up, how are you doing, or let's collab, what have you here. But, you know, Pisces, if you guys did feel stuck at this time, that energy is picking up now. Things are going to start picking up now okay and i am seeing some things possibly end with a cancer pisces scorpio we have a strong male here you know this could be male or a female um if you're not dealing with one then what i'm getting is that you you're gonna be mainly focused on closing things out and focused on family focused on your ten of pentacles what you want to build What's your long-term goal? Alright. So, let's get started. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse. The Princess of Wands. So I'm seeing a love offer be rejected here. Um, I'm also seeing a fire sign that could be quite immature. If this is your energy, Pisces, then what I'm getting here is that you are not going to foolishly hop into things anymore. Okay? I'm saying here that you guys could have very much just been fed up with someone or fed up with something to where, whereas before you guys just may have accepted this person back in or just kept on doing things quite foolishly just because you wanted to. No, I'm seeing you guys really think about your steps at this time, really think about um, what you're saying and what you're doing. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse because... I feel like you guys have learned your lessons with, um, you know, just hopping into anything. I feel like you guys don't want to fight, especially with a fire sign here. You don't want to bring any more drama, any more pettiness here. And you kind of just want to drop the hurt. And I feel like people around you want to also. If this is all you with, you know, these first two combos, I'm, you guys are starting to see where you are shooting your own self in the foot and it's like you know if you want things to change then something in your routine needs to change something in you needs to change six of swords and i see you guys moving on so i love the progression here we go from the five of swords to the six of swords so once again moving on to calmer waters um finding balance i'm getting emotional and mental balance coming through here which is nice is very nice okay so the next card that we do have is the eight of wands so yeah i'm seeing you guys leave behind a fire sign so eight of wands communication the emperor okay so what i'm getting here is that um there could be messages from a father figure coming through this could be messages in regards to jobs. This could be a boss contacting you or a job opportunity here. I'm also getting if you guys um, play a big role in your job, maybe your bosses, supervisors, what have you. I'm seeing networking coming through. I'm seeing um, good energy come to you. I feel like people are really going to respect you at this time, Pisces. And... Um, you're going to be on it at your job, on it with your business, on it with people around you here. But for others of you, there is a father figure coming through with answers. Maybe, you know, there was some issues with the father, but I do see um, that coming. You know, things picking back up again. I'm also getting there could be an Aries or a Taurus 
um, that could be messaging you. And I see um, good communication coming through from this person. The hermit in the reverse. Yeah, this person may have been in hermit mode from you for a while, but I feel like they are going to come back. They are going to come out of this. Or this could be your energy, Pisces, where once you guys could have Virgo in your chart. Maybe you are letting go of a Virgo, getting over a Virgo or a Taurus or an Aries. There could also be a Virgo who's going to message you. They are showing up in the reverse though, but I'm still seeing you kind of, people that have messed with you, people that have, you know, that you decided you don't want to involve yourself with anymore. I'm seeing you guys handle it in a very responsible, mature way, okay? But still being very sure of yourselves with the Queen of Swords, okay? She is very sharp, but yet, she will listen to people she will hear what you have to say okay so queen of swords this could be another person in your life here i feel like this person is going to be fair with you pisces they will hear what you have to say but they are very fixated on how they feel about you the page of wands okay so there could be an Aquarius Libra Gemini who wants to offer you something, okay? And it's quite funny because this Queen of Wands, she has her head up quite proudly. And this Page of Wands does too. So I'm seeing you, um, Pisces, very much just being in an energy of knowing your worth, knowing what you want, and knowing that you're in the right. I'm also getting if this is somebody coming forward with some kind of sexual favor then I'm seeing you cut this person out for some of you the moon card in the reverse yeah I'm seeing you not give it any more of your time energies there's too many secrets that came out and I feel like you're finally coming out of confusion about this person about this situation and you're starting to put one and one together with them okay or maybe this was something that was exposed about you Pisces um, with the moon card, maybe a cancer. So, the next card that we have is the four of wands reversed. There could also be a air sign too who is quite immature. So, I'm getting different scenarios, however it resonates. The next card that we do have is the four of wands in the reverse. So, once again, Pisces, I'm seeing you very much just be more authentic with yourselves, being more authentic with others in your life, not really keeping up appearances or masks with people. I'm also getting that some of you guys, there could be some instability in the family a little bit. The devil, yeah, maybe with the Capricorn here. But you guys are finally starting to see... Um, toxic patterns of yourselves here maybe you guys are coming to the the truth about a capricorn or maybe just about a love connection but i'm seeing um there could be a capricorn around you who is definitely unstable maybe you guys live with the capricorn or there's just something in regard to family or this person or just something toxic that you're starting to realize is very unstable for you the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this is something that will not bring you growth. This is something that you will not get anything in return out of it here. Okay. So I'm seeing you guys get rid of this person. Get rid of whatever it is here. I'm seeing you guys reject people. Reject offers here. Okay. The next card we do have is the King of Cups. So Pisces, I feel like this is you. This could be another person. Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you guys are um, getting over some betrayals, whether you have done this to people or people have done this to you, or maybe just some life events that has happened. I'm also getting there could have been another water sign around you who just caused a lot of drama. But nonetheless, Pisces, I'm seeing you guys drop really difficult situations. I'm seeing an old version of yourself that has died, and there's a new one 
emerging at this time um, letting go of a lot of baggage letting go of a lot of regrets and finally just getting back up again queen of swords wow and we have the chariot in the reverse so pisces there may have been some stuff that um you know stuff in the past to where you did not turn out victorious you felt like you were not in the driver's seat of your life i feel like you guys are now releasing yourselves from um that part of your life or maybe from a cancer um with the wheel of fortune here things are going to start turning in your favor pisces this is great this is beautiful and i see you guys just really no time for bullshit here a lot of you guys are cutting out a water sign we have the queen of swords queen of swords looking right at the king of cups you know this queen of swords could be on your ass pisces but i feel like you're not really paying attention to them i feel like you're over this situation but they could just be you know rubbing it in your face the next card that we do have the last card is the ten of pentacles so the ten of pentacles talks about endings it talks about family it talks about whatever your long-term success is um and reaching that goal the six of cups in the reverse so i'm getting you guys are most definitely leaving the past in the past situations ways of being people whatever it may be you're leaving that all in the past seven of wands you guys are having so much more boundaries with yourself so much more boundaries with people you know nine of wands seven of wands to me does indicate boundaries you guys are standing very strong okay and i feel like you guys have um built up a lot of character here you guys are wounded at this time but you guys are still pushing forward so great energies pisces keep fighting um, Pisces, let's go ahead and pull a card of advice to finish off this reading for you guys. Alright Pisces, let's get it. Let's see what card of advice wants to come out for you guys. For the end of September, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Once again, if you guys would like to order a personal reading with me, all that info will be down below serendipity ooh, pisces i love it so much i love it so much and we have a change in the wind okay so you know change in the wind there's so many changes going on for you right now for some of you it's just one thing in particular and for others of you it could be every area of your life but i want to say here pisces that luck is most definitely on your side so trust wherever the wind blows you trust that wherever you are going it is you are doing the best thing for you here okay luck is on your side some of you guys um may realize too that your plans are not on firm ground this is what this card talks about but i feel like spirit will catch you i feel like things will be okay for you pisces so what an awesome fucking card to end with here this is like my nine of cups card my star card it it talks about good luck um you know Pisces used to rule Jupiter and Jupiter is the planet of luck so that is most definitely on your side okay so Sagittarius or <laughs> see there I go Pisces thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye Pisces